You become certain of Allah. And the one who misses their fajr is not certain of Allah. If they're certain of Allah, and that's why the Prophet links prayer to Iman. He says the one who leaves our prayer in its totality, in its entirety, intentionally, is not from us. Doesn't believe in what we believe. Ilm that leads to second certainty, yaqeen, which must force you to accept. Acceptance, qabul, taqbal. What did Allah say? Okay, I'm certain of Allah. I've learned about Allah. What, should, what has He said? Accept what Allah said. Which leads you to inqiyad and submission. You submit yourself to the word of Allah. There are moments in your life where you will read something and you will not understand it. Your knowledge is not enough to understand it. Or those who taught it to you, taught it to you in a perverted manner that you cannot understand it. Sometimes between you and your heart there comes this doubt that Allah asks you to remove. And He asks you to remove it by studying again and questioning again. Do not ever stop questioning. The Prophet ﷺ says, إِنَّمَا شِفَاءُ الْعِيِّ السُّؤَالِ The cure to ignorance is to ask a question. Acceptance, inqiyad, submission, knowledge, certainty, acceptance, submission, truth, sidq. You have to be sadiq with Allah. It's difficult to be truthful with Allah. It's difficult that what you do in the masjid sometimes is not the same as you do out on campus. Or the same that you do in front of your laptop in your room at, at home alone. You're not sadiq, you're not truthful with Allah. And sidq is a very dangerous pro- uh, process in our tawheed. Kunu ma'a sadiqeen. Be with the truthful. Be with those who are upright in their morality and truthfulness in their relationship with Allah. That truthfulness is the start of ikhlas. It's We talk about ikhlas and good intention. Intention begins after all that. It's not just intention. Nawaitu an usalli al-maghrib or isha. Intention is that you're intending your whole life. Your study right now, my dear brother, my dear sister, in Islam is based on your intention of furthering yourself in that which will earn you a halal income, earn you a halal risk, provide for you a halal sustenance for you and your family, build knowledge within our community, make you self-sufficient so that you don't need handouts from government or others. All of that is intention that leads you to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ikhlas. Finally, number seven. And it is the most important of all. It is al-hub. Love. To love Allah. That you wait for fajr not just because Allah said you have to. And not just because Allah said if you don't you will be punished. And not because Allah said if you do you will get jannah. But because Allah is deserving of your worship even if you get nothing in return. هو المعبود He's the one who is only deserving of worship. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore when you actualize those seven, you submit to Allah. It becomes easy for the sister to wear hijab. She's learned, is certain of Allah's orders, she accepts it. Now she does it in submission. She does it truthfully to Allah, for Allah, not her husband, not her father, not her brother. It's for Allah, truthful. It builds in her ikhlas. A desire to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that breeds love for her, between her and Allah, which Allah descends love amongst us in humanity. I leave you with a final hadith. A statement of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, rawahu al-imam al-Bukhari wa Muslim, different riwayas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا أَحَبَّ عَبْدًا نَادَى جِبْرِيلٍ When Allah loves a person, an individual, Allah calls Jibreel, Ya Jibreel, Jibreel, I love this man, I love this woman, they have earned my love. Ya Jibreel, Uhibbuh, Jibreel, I order you to love this person. فَيُحِبُّهُ Jibreel, وَيُنَادِ فِي أَهْلِ السَّمَاءِ and Jibreel called the inhabitants of the heavens, Inna Allah yuhibbu fulanan fa'ahibbu. O people in the heavens, Allah loves this man, loves this woman, loves them equally. Fayuhibbuna wa thuda'u lahu al-qabulu fil ard. And as a result of the love of Allah, Allah's acceptance descends for that individual on this earth. Even the enemy begins to find leniency in your treatment. 
even the one who is an about foe, find softness in how they will deal with you because of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I conclude with a dua for myself and you, the dua of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Allahumma inna nas'aluka hubbak. We ask you, O oh Allah, to bless us with your love. Wahubba man yuhibbuk. And the love of those who love you. Wahubba al-amali ladhi yuqarribuna ila hubbik. And the love of the deeds that bring us closer to you, O oh Allah. Allahumma izz al-islam wa al-muslimin. Allahumma izz al-a'da'a ka a'da'a al-deen. Allahumma inna nas'aluka imanan la yartad. Wa na'eeman la yamfad. Wa qurratu ayni la tanqatih. ومرافقة نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في جنات النعيم اللهم إنا ضعاف فقونا أو الله سبحانه وتعالى we are weak give us strength اللهم إنا ضعاف فقونا اللهم إنا ضعاف فقونا promise O oh Allah are those who are sick grant us شفاء O oh Allah there are those of us who are in need fulfill our needs I finally ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى in this blessed day of جمعة where the salam upon the Prophet ﷺ is especially blessed. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidun majid wa aqim salah